Welcome back to another Fabius over here. I am Jacob from Jacob's here, and today we are doing another episode of Extreme Makeover. I'd like to mention before we jump into this, this is actually maybe the last episode of Extreme Makeover for a little bit. Come back after another mini series uh, done. I, my sim self, is currently pregnant. We'll get back into that in a second. And so I decided that my sim self will probably be taking some time off of work. And then she does Extreme Makeover, and so we'll take a little bit of time off of a Extreme Makeover as well. Remy's is what you remember in playing with my actual fiancé and my husband in-game. I love him to death, and we are going to be working in a food truck. I have a mod in my game where we can actually be the cook there, and I'm excited to play around with it and have a lot of fun and try things under those lines. If that series ends up not really working out the way I want it to or anything like that, we'll be doing something different in between the time of extreme makeover and um and extreme makeover will be back in a f i don't know a few months i'm not exactly sure when but in a little bit let's go ahead and jump on in now for the final episode i was trying to figure out what to do i had talked about originally maybe doing a commercial lot i have decided against commercial lot um, just because it's a little too big and i'd like to do several commercial lots back to back and so maybe when we come back for the next edit creation of Extreme Makeover, because you guys love this series so much, which I just love the fact that you guys love this series so much as well. When we come back for another iteration of Extreme Makeover, I think it's just going to be commercial lots exclusively, um, or something or those lines, some bigger things. So we're actually doing a fabulous living room renovation because it, the, it's the biggest payout, and it's not the biggest budget though. So looking for a living room, I feel like I could spread out, you know, to comfortably watch some TV, feel free to use the space, and civilians is no object. I also decided, because this is the final one and we're doing this house which is quite big and things that i wouldn't be a little more chaotic for this final episode and we're not going to ask a single client for anything we're just going to send them away and they be asking why why would you do that i don't know i just that's what we're doing i've never done this before i've seen people do this before it seems really chaotic you won't be able to discover any more yeah I don't even know the clients. I haven't said hi to the clients. I haven't done anything with the clients whatsoever. Oh, I, I didn't. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Right off the bat, you can tell. I don't think I've looked inside this house before. Okay. Uh, this is, these are Sims houses before the Sims team decide to let like actual Simmers build the houses. And I mean, you have a limitation and stuff, but they would build these like gigantic houses that were so like empty that they made you kind of uncomfortable. I think we're gonna do this one in here instead. So I think we're gonna come here and take all the before photos on this corner. So we can just jump right into it. I am pregnant, my word. I'm excited though. And before anybody freaks out, this has been the plan for a while. My sim self getting pregnant, we did my wedding, my birth episode will be relatively soon and thing. And it was, it was all the original idea to do it as well okay i want you to go here i'm gonna leave everything the same i'm probably gonna leave the curtains to get the same color palette because like that's really all i can go off of for this particular house but we're gonna come in here into build mode and we are gonna hope for the best i love this couch i don't think i'll use it again though i think we're gonna get a big sectional because this family wants a big and then we're gonna get a big tv and doing things on those lines i gotta figure out what wall works best for the television because i wouldn't mind like a, a very big tv and things yeah like nothing that's crazy to me there's just nothing like i was like eh, whatever is that a clipping tree from the outside sims okay well that's pretty crazy to me i ain't gonna lie okay i'm gonna say this is probably the best wall and the best area to come in we'll do this area right here i think we'll probably add one or two more more things i know they have like a lot of animals so having more animal things is not necessarily like a bad thing. I'm also gonna go ahead and turn on move objects because that's not a s oh no, objects not all the way function. You have so many packs in your game, it's just, it's kind of bad. I've done this once before, and this one ended up working out just fine, but I've done it once before where I've accidentally had everything turned on and like not hide back because it's turned off, and then my game was like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> okay, I'm, okay, we have $13,000 for a budget, and I'm definitely feeling like either this one or the TV, like something like this. It's just all about trying to figure out which one we, oh, okay. It's not allowing us. I've never really had anything to do with locked objects. I figured it'd be unlocked because it's just like a like a house, like in general. But it's fine. And then I'm thinking of getting like maybe this one underneath it. 
because it's like a living room and so i feel like they would have this like underneath it i guess like like a space and then we, we're also gonna need a rug the rug is a good place to figure out the sectional area so we got to get a good rug like a nice big good rug and i think I mean, I, I definitely think that's what's going to solve all the issues. It's hard to pick a good rug, though, in my opinion, because I think some rugs are better than others, and it definitely needs to be, like, this, like, long in that way. But picking the right rug. Oh, it's difficult. I'm thinking, like, more, like, the rustic-y vibe is going to do us better than the other one. Maybe even, like, this, you the color. Okay, that's, like, a purple, but we could probably get... Yeah, like, a little bit... It's a little bit modern. Yes, it's kind of ugly because the oh that's better bring in the lights and the blues i think is the way to go i am planning on doing a complete sectional here sectionals i just gotta figure out which one i think makes the most sense i'm going towards this one and then that being so we have like a few options so we could keep it directly in the rug which does look nice to be fair does look nice and they had like some type of table back behind here which i think we'll probably do something very similar to that and we can even still get a fireplace in here like on the side you can go over there in the corner not not that bad of a thing i guess we could have done like something like this and that doesn't work either but you understand what i mean there are workarounds i guess in that part and then i definitely like dog bed over in the corner and we have a cat bed as well i put like a toiletry by it and then toys by this because like a big part of like their entire personality is the fact that they have animals like that's kind of like their their thing and they have like all sorts of animals it's not like they have like one or two animals they have like you know like a whole variety of animals so like i kind of really want to like deep dive into this like animal obsession that they have i think i would declare an obsession they have like 12 animals not 12 obviously because the sims can only have up to five but you understand my point here it's a lot of animals actually i think this would be a good one to put back here let's get that back table i think that back table would do us a lot of good just gotta find the right one you know no because i kind of want one like i kind of also in a way like i don't necessarily know how much this fits this direct room but i definitely feel like this fits the house so i kind of want to use it because because of that and we can also maybe make it like this like partial blue color i think that would look really nice and then we can we can get some of these things that i want like i think the owls look really cute back here obviously i felt like the cat would look cute as well we can get those things on the back and it looks real nice um, i'm actually thinking about like sizing of the dog and then i'm thinking of a bookcase maybe like right here i don't know if cats and dogs particularly came with a bookcase i don't think those ones were gonna work that one actually not too tall but those are more fun like if you can actually fill them up yourself which i can't they came with this one which i absolutely hate so we're, we're not going down that road i'm sure there's one in here you need two by two that's like all right oh even though i hated the other one that actually i think is gonna be like a really good bet i just wish i could change the color to like a blue okay we're gonna have to go with the white with the brown even though like the top part doesn't make any sense so we're just gonna ignore the top parts there you know can't see it i don't know we do know but no one's gonna tell me about it that's where i'm at denial is sometimes the best policy this is a really big space so i think like something like that would make the most sense to me and then i'm also thinking even though i highly doubt these people are like full-on gamers something like that would probably be very helpful and let's not forget the plants I'd say the plants are some of the most important parts i get those ones up there could get that one in the middle obviously if that was real i would i would hate the person who designed this and is like i'm gonna put a plant right there in the middle where you guys can't see because i don't like it you know but like that's just not the case a nice greenery around always did help and i was even thinking about maybe getting like a reading chair like right here it could be too much but like it's either go big or go none it's like getting like a cute like little little reading chair that's kind of okay we need like a dark blue i don't even think i can be able to achieve the dark blue see that's to do that's too blue do these ones have like a, a little bit of like a lighter one you know what? i've accepted the colors the way they are i ain't going back okay honestly i think this is the space it took me no time seeing these things you don't know until you test it out oh we could put this one over here though make it kind of cute oh a blue base perfect and it kind of ties in that space over there see that makes me want to think that the dark blue is the better way to go okay do they just have like a like a, a white I ever did change the i kind of feel like we should i think that's the space so that dog bed's gonna have to come over here and i'm gonna have to hope that we're standing somewhere over here 
you know, I'm gonna go over here anyways. We're just gonna do it. Uh, let's go take some after photos right there. And all right, we had like that one. We had like that one. Let me like that one. Okay. I, I don't even know who the clients are. I I never said hi to anybody. Let's call it clients. To the want one one two two three three two. You know what? That's fine. You can really see my pregnant belly. Only a single trimester, by the way. Put your votes in the comments what you think the, the sex will be. Obviously, that doesn't declare what the gender of the kid is because the gender could be could be anything. Uh, be a boy, a girl. It could be non-binary. We won't know until we progress. All right. And then we play the game of check this out as soon as I'm able to. I don't. I don't. Did I did I do it? I mean, I ain't got in the client. I guess in a sense, it wouldn't be a true stream makeover if the tier decorator wasn't. Ah! Okay. We don't ever get the slideshow. Look at it. I think it did a good job. It definitely looks like a, a true improvement. I, I won't lie. I guess maybe we could have some of those. Like that right there. This all looks, all looks 10 times better. In my opinion. All right, let's see if we... Oh, I also did not pay attention to budget. We were fine. I guess that's good. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Now we essentially just wait for our little check marks to pop up. Oh, okay. First person. Okay, so the teen. I feel like the teen would really like this space. I think this is a, a space that a teen would really enjoy. Oh, well, I guess let's go find out. All right. He liked it. So he, Justin, did not, has not been like really liking the space, it seems like. Did they get divorced? It's possible that they did get divorced. Okay. Now we just have one more thing. That would be her. All right, it's done. We got paid. Uh, nice work. The clients seem to enjoy the new renovated space. Cool. Very cool. All right, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this final episode. For now, I will, not, I will come back. You guys love it too much. I like doing it too much. But for now, this final episode of Extreme Makeover. Once again, I'm very much enjoying Extreme Makeover. I, I think it's one of my favorite series that I have on the channel. It's just that my sim self is having a baby. I know that I'm going to want to spend time with the infant and doing all that fun stuff. The next time you'll see my sim self will actually be for the birthing episode. And then we'll start the new series, which is all about him like owning a restaurant and being the cook of the restaurant and stuff, which I'm really excited about. I'm overall just excited to do it. I've never really done restaurants in Sims, so I think it's going to be really fun. And once again, if it doesn't work out, that's cool. We have other things going on in the channel that can take its space and things. And we'll still get like about weekly, bi-weekly, I'm going to assume, updates on how my Sim is doing with this new chain and how they're doing since they've been married and stuff. I'm going to link a few videos in the cards in case you guys are wanting to see it i have this series on my channel where i play with my sim self and we're kind of we're kind of going through everyday life stuff with him outside of this series in case you guys want to see more that being said i'll talk to you guys all next time and don't forget to leave names in the comments down below you think i should name the child or what we think we should name the child but also like what you think you know the sex will be and hold on yards i'd love to know in the comments down below and i'll talk to you guys all next time thank you so much for watching and goodbye